Hello everyone, I'm going to be walking you guys through a quick ink stitch tutorial and showing you how exactly I created this patch here. So first you'll want to import your image. You can do this by going into file, import, or you can simply paste your image in here. Next thing we'll do is go ahead and set up our document properties. We're going to make this a 4x4. Four four. This is the size of my hoop. Now we'll be creating a few layers separating the fill stitch and the satin stitch and colors. I'm selecting my layer with the image and lowering the opacity and locking the layer. Now we can go ahead and get started with the white fill. Now we'll be selecting the white fill layer we created earlier. You can scroll in and out by holding control and rolling your mouse wheel in and out. Now we'll be using our Bezier tool. Now we'll be basically tracing the picture. To create a curve with the Bezier tool, we're gonna go ahead and left click and drag without letting go of the left button on your mouse. This will create a curve. To make your Bezier tool straight again, just hold Shift L and this will make your lines straight. Again, here for example, we're going to be holding Shift L to make our line curve the other way. And we click and drag to create curves. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part. I also recommend starting off tracing simpler shapes just to get the hang of it. You'll want to connect the last node with the first node you made. Now you're left with an outline, we're going to go ahead and select our object and click white in the color palette below. This is just going to give us a white fill. We'll also want to get rid of the outline because our embroidery machine is going to read this as a running stitch and unless you want that, you're going to go ahead and hold shift and click on none in the color palette below. I'm just going to grab my white fill and move it to the white fill layer, hiding it to make sure it's on the right one. Just so we have our white fill all done, pretty simple. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the yellow off camera. I went ahead and hid all the fill layers and now we will be working on the satin lines. You can create satin lines manually, but I find it easier to use the satin tool, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and start tracing with my Bezier tool, and we'll want to adjust the width of our line by going into Fill and Stroke under Objects. We'll select Stroke Style. I'll go ahead and adjust the width to make this thicker, then going to Extensions, Ink Stitch, satin tool and convert line to satin all i need to do now is taper the edges but before doing that i'm going to go ahead and simplify this select your satin line go into path and simplify i'm going to go ahead and turn off toggle snapping here on the right side when you're adjusting the rails make sure you keep all of the rungs intersecting both of the rails or you'll get an error code in params and we're all done creating the satin line. Next, we'll go into Inkscape, Params. Here you'll get a preview of your stitching and you can adjust the underlay as well and pull compensation too. Now I'll go ahead and create the rest of these satin lines using my Bezier tool and the Convert to Satin tool and using Params along the way to double check my work. I'm also simplifying my rails to make it easier to taper. Now you can go ahead and stop here or you can auto route these to avoid jump stitches. To auto route, we'll simply go into extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, auto route satin columns. We'll check both of these boxes and hit apply. And this is now how it stitches. And here is a small time lapse of me creating the rest of the satin stitches. Once I traced all the running stitches with the Bezier tool, I went to fill and stroke and made sure they were set up as dashes. And here I just made sure everything was stitching out correctly in params and set up the density for the fill stitches. Here I'm just hiding all of my layers before I bring this into the simulator. You'll find the simulator in extensions under visualize and export. I really hope you guys found this video helpful and I do also post 
more regularly on my TikTok and Instagram, so follow me there if you'd like. Hope to see you guys back in future videos. Bye for now.